actually kind of broke. Why? I don't know, I just feel like you try to give off the impression that you have a lot of money, but like in reality, like you don't actually have that much money. Like I feel like Flix buys more money than me. So I don't, I, okay, I don't know how much Flix is paid. But why, why would you assume that I give off, I try and give off the impression I have lots of money and what do I do that makes you think I am broke? Um, I just feel like, I don't know, I just feel like you always try to like, show your money and stuff like that and I feel like you're actually like broke. Like how much money do you actually have? Well, it, that's a difficult question to answer, right? Because it depends if you're talking about liquid money or assets. It depends if you're talking about net worth. I own companies. How much is the company worth? It's not It's not as simple as just how much money do you have. When you actually achieve true wealth, you don't just leave money sitting in a bank account. So it's a difficult question to answer. And I don't know how much money Clicks has. I'll be honest with you. I don't follow this yeah. this world. I don't have a fucking clue how much money you have. But yeah. the, more, the more you have, the worse. Because right. then, you really, then you really have no excuse to not be doing it. So if Clicks wants to go first, I mean, how much money do you make for playing Fortnite? Uh, we're talking yearly? Yeah. Uh, you know, a couple M's, but good. You, like good money, you know what I'm saying? You know, I okay. never say how much money I make a year, so it's like my chat thinks I'm broke as fuck. So when I say this, they, they're going to think I have money. You definitely drew up money. Yeah, all right, a couple M's a year. Right, we'll, cool. we'll just leave it at that, yeah. Cool. Well, Wait, I mean, how, many, how many businesses do you have? So I, I, I just find it interesting that we talked earlier about perspicacity and how important it is to perceive things, yeah. right? Then he sits here and says he thinks I'm broke. Well, I have 27 cars with, with a, combined net, a combined value of over $25 million. I have a Bugatti Chiron, which is $5.8 million. I have a mm -hmm. private plane. I have a boat. So you can, you can look at things off that bat, are just that's on 100 my That's 100 mil off the bat. Exactly. Dude, those are things that are just on my Instagram page. Before you talk about my, my proper Are those all yours? App. Yeah, of course. Well, who's else are they going to be? Okay. No, you know no, no, I mean? no, like rental, et cetera. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, everyone you has questions. Rent, you can't rent cars in Romania. Like, there's no supercar rental. Okay. All of my cars have my custom number plate on them. I'm yep. driving the same car every day. Yep. You can't even rent Bugatti Chiron anywhere in the world. There's only 50 in the world. I own one. Like, all these things are mine. So the fact to sit there that he's, he has lacks perspicacity to a level where he's going to say to a guy who's worth hundreds of millions of dollars, I don't think you have any money, just shows that he's fucking, you don't even live in the real world, my friend. And I I'm not live in the real world. Well, well, then you're not very perceptive. Which, I don't even know what that word means. Okay, cool. Well, then you prove my point. And that's your problem, not mine. I don't give a shit, right? But my point is, yeah, I have some money. I'm successful, but I'm also 35 years old. I'm not going to sit here and compare myself to you two because at your age, I had nothing. So yeah. at your age, you're both destroying me. I didn't have any money till I was 25, 26. I didn't have nothing. So yeah. you're, ahead of, you're ahead of me in terms of like for like comparison. But also when I was your age, the internet wasn't a thing. So like, all I could do was work in a fucking bullshit.